All right, I'm going to come back to to the thread of talking about shadow work and insecurities. I lost it a bit there. Although I will definitely talk about the part of stopping to drink because of it's been um, I think the most important decision and most rewarding decision I've ever made in my whole life. I never felt better, I never felt stronger, I never felt more connected to myself and life. And what I would like to do with my life and how I would like to help people. I never felt more present and genuinely interested and just in love with with life and people. It's, it's, um, it's the freedom that I always seeked through drinking. And it's happening naturally without any enhancements whatsoever. Enough about that. Let's come back to the insecurities. I obviously am trying to derail myself from that conversation <laughs> a few times over. Because uh, it is uncomfortable. It's not fun to, to go to that part of you and to acknowledge it and to look at it and to admit it. But shit. I've had some major low self-esteem and ideas about myself, you know, that's not, that's not what you really want to um, share, you know, just put your best foot forward. Anyways, let's go to the shadow work and there's once you get started with that, by the way, there's usually a few things that comes up. But once you get to the depth of it, the ideas that you find, the core belief that has been the catalyst for everything that you've um, cho uh, chosen to do in your life. And it has been the catalyst for... All the roles that you have decided to play as a coping mechanism, as a protection, as a way of dealing with that specific belief system. And it usually is, has to do with a level of worthiness. And it usually has to do with either guilt or shame but essentially finding that out which is by the way a very hidden thing inside of you that it's difficult to, to realize on your own it's it's uh, something that you I would recommend getting support with individual support with figuring out um, because it can be it can be quite traumatic it depends on, on what it is that has happened to you um, what mine was had to do with with um, how I actually saw myself at a deep level a core belief a core belief is a belief system or a belief that you've taken on board as truth as something that you are something that you just simply are as a person and if that belief is negative it has a tremendous impact and influence over you um, from that day on 
because it usually happens when you're a child and when you're in, in a, a time in your life where you're unable to um, evaluate that as a lie or as a as not true because you're in the process of finding out who you are and you're identifying yourself with um, everything that happens in your environment so through your parents and your immediate environment of uh, friends school friends and your the society that you grow up in um, so mine was I'm still I'm struggling to say this but I'm gonna do it um, it's actually to do with my inheritance like I'm half Filipino and Norwegian and um, I always felt a little bit uncomfortable being that it used to annoy me when people ask me, oh, where are you from? You don't look very Norwegian. Um, it used to annoy me. I used to cringe. I used to be like, oh, that question's going to come now. It used to annoy me. Like, all right, so as soon as someone asks me where I'm from, that question is going to come up. They're either going to feel comfortable asking me or they're going to be pretending that it, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, that question doesn't occur to them. And so digging a little bit deeper into why, I've come to the realization that my core belief was, because I'm half Filipino, I'm actually not worthy. I actually don't belong into certain places in the world. I actually don't. I will never become number one. I will never win something. I will never get to the top of something. And I will never be chosen in a relationship, for example, because I'm simply not worthy. That's just not my place. Isn't that insane? And I'm not going to go into details about why and how this happened. I know it. But it's, um, it's a very simple and innocent thing that can happen to anyone. That you find yourself attached to, to something of similar impact. It has to do with some small events, some small belief systems that some people around you didn't, weren't aware that they had within themselves and unconsciously transfer that to you and because i had that belief from an early age it basically changed the way or it decided it it became the catalyst for the way that i uh, arranged my personality from there on so I, I have, looking back now, I have so many different masks that I, that I put on and I played and I protected myself with to cope with this idea and to hide it and to, to um, pretend it wasn't there because that was just too much to handle. It's a painful thing to walk around and, and to feel that as a, as a core belief. And so, figuring this out and being able to talk about it just explains how incredibly powerful shadow work is because you take the power away when you bring something into light because you can look at it and you can understand yourself and all of your choices and, and all the ways that you've been trying to hide yourself and you can understand it you can have compassion with it because you you know you, you know you're an innocent person at the time when it happened 
it has nothing to do with uh, who you are actually it has nothing to do with your value it has nothing to do with your worthiness so when you're able to figure that thing out it's next level freedom it's next level joy and finally feeling comfortable with yourself in a way that you've always actually searched for like I'm talking about me I, I don't know I can't talk for anybody else but I'm, yeah I'm talking about me and my uh, now epiphany that you know I've always searched for myself and my my ability to feel totally free and accepting towards myself I actually accept myself now. I actually can tell, tell, look at myself in the mirror and say hey I love you, you're great without pretending without lying, without it being an affirmation that I'm constantly just saying just to kind of uh, cover up what is really going on So there you are. I'm sure there's more, but I'm not afraid of finding it out because I know that whatever uncomfortable feeling and uh, thing that I'm hiding is essentially going to set me even more free. So I guess me sharing it is simply because it feels therapeutic for me to actually share it and hopefully uh, someone can relate and I can give support in various forms <laughs> if you're still here this is a 12 minute long talk thank you for listening I appreciate it and I wish you a wonderful day